Welcome to South Haven Business Beat. Business and community leaders talk with us to provide invaluable resources to aid the business community. This episode is sponsored by Community Foundation of Northwest Mississippi. The Community Foundation is an independent not-for-profit organization that serves 11 counties. Are you passionate about giving back to your local community? The Community Foundation can help you create a lasting impact, a legacy that echoes through generations. The Community Foundation of Northwest Mississippi, connecting people who care with causes that matter. This episode is brought to you by the South Haven Chamber of Commerce. We know that relationships create commerce. We are here to help our members grow their businesses and professionally develop their employees. And now here's your host, Robbie Yates. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back and thank you for tuning in and listening to another episode of South Haven Beats. I'm Robbie Yates and an extraordinary guest today, we have Chantel Hibbler and she is with the South Haven Chamber and she is the service member coordinator and we were just talking before offline. She actually is a year in. Yes. So congrats to the year. Thank you. Can't wait to learn more about the passion that led you here mm -hmm. and how you are actually benefiting the members and helping members out. So oh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm actually super excited. Um, you know, just everything that we're doing with the podcast is mm -hmm. really amazing. I love the um, foundation of it. So um, I'm really excited that I'm actually able to sit in and uh, be able to, to share all my expertise that I, <laughs> that I might have learned in this past year. So. Yeah, well, it's not, it is the year, yeah, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, prior to it, bringing everything else, you, you know, bring it to the chamber. So mm -hmm. definitely have, you know, a vast knowledge of how you're helping chambers. And, and on that, like, how are you tapping into the past year and then your past resources? What do you bring into the table for the members? Um, so one thing that I will say that is growing up, um, I was always told that I talk too much. <laughs> That's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. So, um, but the thing about it is that, it showed how much of a social butterfly, so to speak, that I was. Um, and so throughout the years, um, I've done a lot of retail, um, you know, customer service um, jobs. But the job that I held the longest was working with the Army and the daycare centers. And so um, many people just think that, okay, if you're working in the daycare, you're just working with children, and um, that's pretty much it. But one of the things that I learned um, with the Army is that even in that kind of field, you're still in customer service. So mm -hmm. um, the children may, yes, they are your customers, but um, the parents are your customers, um, your staff, like your fellow teammates mm -hmm. are your customers. Um, just anyone that you come in contact with is a customer. And so the way that you interact with them is important. Yeah. And so um, just everything that I learned in my years of customer service with retail jobs, as well as um, working with the Army and the daycare and interacting with uh, fellow teachers, with coordinators, with even the higher ups in the Army and their children, you know, mm -hmm. um, it just really kind of gave me an insight as to how I present myself, how um, I treat others, um, and, and just the way that I respect other people. And so um, that coupled with um, really having a passion for business and having my own business and um, and being able to see how other people's passions have gotten them in their own um, field of business as well, mm -hmm. um, just really helped me in this role of being able to really champion for the small businesses and the large businesses alike. Um, so in this role that I'm in, it's pretty much like God, you know, God uses all things. Yep. So everything that I've learned there, bring it, being able to bring it into this role and doing it with a passion because I actually have been in those shoes of other business um, owners yeah. and in those shoes um, has really just helped me to be able to correlate and to, to um, relate to them on a different different level. Yeah, I admire that, how you bring in what you learned from, you know, for how, you weren't in the Army, you were just no. part of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But even still, you're, it's kind of like you, are, you were at the time. Yeah, People an affiliate kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely. But you're bringing that and tying that in because and you looked at it from a broad perspective mm -hmm. of the customer service and then tapping in and helping the parents and then the collaborative effort and then bringing that into the chamber. Mm -hmm. And so with the member service coordinator, like kind of walk me through how does that look when you're 
if I'm a new member mm -hmm. and am I trying to get started, trying to help my business or like what would, like how can that benefit me? Yes, yeah, so um, we really deal with businesses at um, various points of their, um, like wherever they are with their business. So, oh, so they're brand new or mm -hmm. whether years. It's, yep, yeah. whether they're brand new, whether they've been in the business for 20 years or whether it hasn't even been started yet and it's mm. just a thought. Um, we can pretty much provide you the resources that you need in order to get to the goals that you want. So mm. um, say if you just have a thought of a business and um, you just want to know like, what do I need to do in order to um, formulate a business in Mississippi? We pretty much like one of us, um, but mainly myself um, as a member services coordinator will sit with you just to kind of um, get some ideas of what your um, what kind of business that you're trying to do um, and then give you a resource. So we pretty much have like a a guide of doing business in Mississippi. So it'll hmm. let you know how to form your LLC. It'll let you know where to go to get your South Haven business license if you're in the um, South Haven uh, uh, city uh, limits. Yep. Or um, say if you needed to know how to do your EIN, doing hmm. any small business grants um, with the with the Small Business Administration, um, just anything like that. We have a, a resource that'll kind of walk you through everything to get your business up and started. Yeah. Um, so then if you have a business that you've already started and you've gotten all of those things and now you're like, okay, what are my next steps into being introduced to the business community or um, just letting people know, hey, I'm a new business and this is where I am, um, then I will brainstorm with you as far as like any resources of events, any sponsorships, um, just anything to try and get the name of that business out there. Mm. Um, and you know, of course we encourage to become a member, yeah. um, but uh, just trying to brainstorm to see what that, what that looks like for you um, as a newer business. Um, and then if it's a business that's been in the game for a while, it's like, okay, we kind of want to revamp or we, you know, we, we want to reach a different um, industry of people or um, just tap into a different audience. What does that look like? You know, again, I will sit down, we can brainstorm, see if there's any um, type of resources that we can provide mm. as far as maybe doing uh, member introductions or um, just any way that we can kind of get that, that business plugged into the business community to try mm. and get them into the um, audience in the field that they're trying to get into yeah i love it you're covering <laughs> a to z try you yeah we yeah, definitely try to absolutely mm -hmm. and you said something i thought was really interesting and in case somebody didn't hear it mm -hmm. you said how obviously um you know if they become a member fantastic but yes. it sounds like they don't even have to be a member to come in and talk to you all but right. of course the benefit side of being of the or having a membership mm -hmm. of course all the events and the connections and, and to be able to network you know mm -hmm. efficiently in fact they lead through the network of the members that are already here mm -hmm. but it sounds like they didn't if they walk through this door right now they do not have to be a member yeah we will not turn any business owner down or anyone who's aspiring to be a business owner because at the end of the day um, it's still commerce right yeah. um, and we're here to serve our community mm -hmm. and so whether they're a, a member or not you know they're still a part of our community yeah. And so we want to be able to provide whatever resources that we can. Of course, there are added benefits to being a member. Sure. Um, but we will absolutely not turn anyone away just because they're not a member of yeah. the South Haven Chamber. I think some people, th it's a, a, what I hear sometimes a community of, oh, well, I got to be a member to go. Like, you yeah. don't. Like, no, you absolutely just don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even our <laughs> events, you know, um, if you want to, we, we, I always encourage a potential um a prospective member that's coming in who's not necessarily sure of if they want to join the chamber, if it's right for them. Um, I always say, hey, come out to our next event um, mm -hmm. just so that you can see um, firsthand of what it is that we do because um, many times we can say it, but until you're actually in the vicinity, until you're in there um, seeing it with your own eyes, um, you won't necessarily grasp exactly what it is that you can get as a member. Yeah. Um, so we, we always encourage people to just just come out to the events, just see what it is that we do, just get a sense of, um, you know, how we can pretty much use our resources to help you. And it doesn't have to start with a membership, that it yeah. can just start with the thought of possibly joining, and then we can go from there. <laughs> I like that, yeah, the thought of joining or even mm -hmm. the thought of the business. Right. You want to take that time, and it just shows the level of empathy and compassion you have for that, because you are walking the walk, and you're a business owner yourself, but yes. then to have that somebody come in, because it can be overwhelming. Yeah. Someone to go, man, I want to start. 
where do I start? Mm -hmm. Is there a grant? Do I how do so right. they don't have a lot? I'm sure they have a ton of questions. Yeah, I mean everybody does when they start out, but mm -hmm. I like how y'all can clear up the muddy water yes. and help them kind of guide them through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, to be quite honest with you, like you said, it, um, it can be overwhelming just because you know if you were to just go and Google how to start a business in Mississippi. <laughs> Just the things that you see when it comes yeah. up with the search engine is just, you know, you have people who are trying to sell you to um, to do an LLC for you or to sell um, their services to do an EIN number. And it's like a lot of these things can be done, you know, if you just follow the resources that we have. And mm -hmm. it kind of cuts out all of the, you know, potentials to be scammed or the potentials to be taken advantage of, um, especially as a business owner, because at the end of the day, as an entrepreneur, you know, the money that you receive, the revenue that you receive from your business is likely going to pay for your child's tuition or it's going to pay for your child's dance classes or, you mm -hmm. know, your groceries for this month or what have you. So it's like, you know, those are funds that you don't necessarily want to just give away, you know. Yeah, yeah, so sure. yeah. <laughs> however you can do it um, intelligently, you know, we just want to be able to try yeah. to be that resource. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So that way you are the Google search, the safe we, Google yeah, search. Yeah, I guess so. Yes, so I, I guess in, the, in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so plus you're walking the walks. I mean, you have a business as well. Yes. And then so do you kind of incorporate that when you're trying to work with somebody and say, look, I've done this in my business and I've seen success here mm -hmm. or I've done this to get an LLC. And then so that way you're not just throwing spaghetti in the wall or you're exactly. not saying, hey, I guess this will work. You actually... Right have proof. Yeah, so yeah. Um, that's definitely a, a key point that I use, especially when I sit down with, um, you know, potential members or even members alike, you know, I'll let them know, hey, you know, this is what I used as a tactic for my business and this is where I saw growth or this is where, you know, I was able to receive this resource that helped me to be able to attain this goal. Um, and it, it it's even helped me in being able to know like search engine optimizations, which is one of the things that we really focus on um, for our members here is because, you know, you can pay for Google ads to be on that first page, but when you have really good search engine optimization keywords, um, it can kind of put you on that first page of a Google search. Mm -hmm. And so um, we really try to make sure that those are the things that we look at when we're when we're meeting with our members just because we want to maximize your return of investment. So when you become a member, yes, you invest um, funds to be a member. However, we want to make sure that you get double, triple, quadruple, or even more than that um, as a return. And so um, the search engine optimizations is something that we definitely look at to try and make sure that um, we're, we're getting your business seen um, when people are Googling about anything that pertains to your industry um, in, in that area. Yeah, that's fascinating. We're going to take a quick pause, a quick word from our sponsor, and then we'll be right back. Follow app. The Follow app is the long-term solution for networking, instantly connecting you to those frequently missed opportunities to find the right referral partner or new client to grow your business. Wisdom Integrators. Are you a business owner and is technology getting in the way of your business? If your computers are slow, your website is horrible, or your business needs more efficiency, then it's time to reach out to Aaron Kozort and Wisdom Integrators. Would you like to be a sponsor? Contact Debbie King at 662-342-6114 for more information. Be sure to share and subscribe for more business resources. Now back to South Haven Business Beat and host Robbie Yates. Hey, how's it going? It's uh, Robbie again. Thank you again for uh, tuning back in and with Chantel here. And we're learning, and you, right before we heard from the sponsor, you talked about a search engine opti optimization. And I really like that because some people don't realize that when they go to have a website or if they're trying to have, you know, be at the top of a search because mm -hmm. they can be on the 10th page and not the first page. Right. So that's, that's a huge benefit to mm -hmm. actually have that aspect. But I think with that, to have that, they actually not to plug the membership, but that, that's one of the benefits of being a member. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's... I guess it is a shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is yeah, a yeah. shameless plug. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely being a member um, and being able to 
do a deep dive into um, what your business is and mm -hmm. um, just looking at how we can pretty much um, get your business uh, seen a little bit better on, on the search engines. Um, it's something that, that you do get as a, uh, a benefit as a member. So um, yeah, it's extremely important to have those search engine optimizations because whenever you need to find something, what do you do? Yeah. Google absolutely or you bang you know <laughs> yeah. um, so you go into those search engines and you're looking up those things um, because if you don't know it off the top of your head you know that it's going to be in one of those search engines and so yeah. um, you know that's what we look at to make sure that if you're uh, doing a beauty care line or something like that but mm -hmm. someone wants to do it locally um, if they say something like okay beauty care line near me you know, yeah. we want to make sure that those search engine optimizations is working for um, your benefit to where when they're doing that, you're popping up on that first page, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I really like that, uh, the benefit of it. But so the, um, I know it's for uh, non-members, but also members mm -hmm. can come in and talk to you, kind of brainstorm, mm -hmm. either with, through the thought process or doesn't matter the longevity in their business. Right. What is the, some of the, is there one thing or like a few common things you're seeing um, that some hurdles that people or trying to overcome or questions they might have? So um, I would definitely say um, a lot of time is visibility. Mm. Um, they are trying to figure out what's the best way to get their name out there because um, say they're, they just, people don't know that they're um, available or their services are being offered in that area. And, um, and a lot of times it really does fall within that search engine. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> those keywords, uh, whether they've been with us for years or, or when they're first coming on, when we go and take a look at their keywords, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay, well, let's remove this and add this because this is actually what's going to drive um, traffic to your, your website. Mm. Um, and so when they get to see um, where it's kind of like broken down into layman's terms rather than it being um, very industry specific, specific yeah. um it kind of it, it kind of boosts their visibility so to speak mm -hmm. yeah i like how you said layman's term because yeah. if you kind of <laughs> simplify it mm -hmm. that, that acronym kiss is sometimes yeah. you just gotta have Keep it right it there simple yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely so what's some other things aside from getting that you would do as a uh, member service coordinator mm -hmm. that you're trying to help them um members out to really maximize their business um, so we do also, um, member introductions. Okay. So, um, say if you're, that's key. Yeah, that's huge. and it's, man, it's a priceless, um, benefit that you get as a member just yep. because if you're trying to go in cold calling and, um, you're trying to, especially if you're in a service based industry mm -hmm. and you're, um, trying to sell services, you know, if say you're, you're trying to get to a, a mega church or something like yep. that. And um, you're trying to speak to someone there. Do you know how many people they probably get all the time for solicitations and whatnot? Yeah. So it's kind of like, OK, here's another person that's trying to sell us something. However, when um, it's done through the chamber, we can kind of get you past that gatekeeper, get you past the middleman. Yeah. And it's like, hey, this is the primary person that we know at this business. Yeah. And so um, if you're really wanting to, to partner with this person, we can get you um, introduced to them. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the follow up is on on you to yeah, pretty yeah. much make sure that um, you can meet with that person and, and really tell more about your services, but yeah. we'll do the initial hard work for you in order to get you to that person, yeah. um, which is so key because, you know, warm calling opposed to cold calling will yeah. get you more results, you know? So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that warm referral for sure. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like somebody has to come in and sit down with you all and talk of, hey, this is what I do as a business and right. then how can I help other members? Because I feel like, they can't just, I can't just reach out to you and go, hey, so tell, hey, look, this is what I'm looking for, you know, right. make it happen. You're gonna go, right, man, that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, so whenever we get, um, a, a, especially a new member, but um, it can be a member that's been with us for years. Mm -hmm. um, if they want, because I'll do follow ups with our members, but yep. um, if they're noticing that they really want to, uh, reach out to someone or they, they really want to change certain things in their businesses, I will. Um, set up a member meeting and that's where we'll take a look again at those um, search engine optimizations. We'll look mm -hmm. at um, what they have on their website, how their social media is looking, um, just 
everything that, that can kind of pretty much work with that business to try and enhance it a little better. Yeah. Um, and that's where we'll speak about, okay, well, what are your target audiences? Um, mm -hmm. When I know what your target audience is, then I can take that and look at our directory and say, hey, I believe that this right here, this list of um, businesses will probably be really great. What do you think about it? Yeah. And um, when they let me know, hey, yeah, I would really like to do that one. I really like to um, meet with this person. It's like, okay, great. So I'm going to send you exactly what it is that um, mm. you, you know, you would possibly be ser uh, servicing this member with. You let me know if this sounds good as far as what you want to um, to say to this uh, member. Yeah. And then if everything is good, then we'll go ahead and do the email introduction. So we pretty much want to make sure that it's targeted, that it makes sense, and that um, we'll try and get the best results out of it. So yeah, we sure. kind of just don't want to just send generic emails. <laughs> yeah. So um, I definitely say um, book a meeting with me so that we yeah. can look at your business and your goals and your targets and um, just go from there. Mm -hmm. I would say if somebody wants to book a meeting with you, I feel like they better to, better jump on it now because yeah, I, know. <laughs> I feel like your calendar is just filling up all the time. Yes, yes. Um, which is a great thing yeah. though because um, it shows that businesses are really serious about getting uh, attaining their goals. and. Yeah. Um, really really being smart and strategic about the things that they're doing as mm -hmm. far as trying to get their business out there so um i love it I'm, I'm i'm just like hey just go ahead and book a meeting with me and we can definitely look at it yeah i like that well plus too i mean you really want i like how you're taking that time and it's not just a blanketed approach it's actually yeah. sitting down very being very methodical about it mm -hmm. and with intent to really find out yes the search optimizations but also who can you connect them with right. to get them plugged in to then grow their business? If right. it, you know, if somebody's trying to grow 10% or 5% or whatever mm -hmm. the percentage, there's no guarantee they're going to hit that number. But right. if anything, they're putting in that work and they're sitting down with you to then collab the collaboration. That's what I'm looking for is mm -hmm. the key of it yeah. to then maximize their return. And what that's going to be, I think it's going to far outweigh what they're, expectations are yeah so we always say that we want to under promise and over deliver <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the the thing about it is that um when we can work in tandem with a business um it, it pretty much works itself out because um if you're letting us know what it is that you're needing and we have the resources to do it then we 100 percent will use that resource to try and get you what you need mm -hmm. um uh, of course, you know, it's like a gym membership. You, you still got to put in the work as well. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, we we want to be that resource for, for each business that comes through our doors and that are looking for help. Yeah, absolutely. So you got the year anniversary mm -hmm. for being with the chamber. Yes. And the year that, to put you on the spot here, <laughs> what, what's, been, what's been the most rewarding thing that you've seen in the year? It could be one thing, it could be two things. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But what's been the most rewarding you've seen? I, um... I think the most rewarding is when I see businesses that actually have partnerships from the member introductions that we do yeah. and that are um, actually lucrative for them. Um, or when I see a business that's come through our doors, especially um, one that was fairly new or, or was trying to revamp and they're letting me know, hey, I just spoke with so-and-so and, -so and I just uh, you know, got this partnership. So um, whenever I hear those stories, it's like, man, this is the chamber working for you. You yeah. know, this is, <laughs> yeah. this is really like, like the the reason why we're here is to make those connections and mm -hmm. so whenever I hear those stories I'm just like man this is really awesome <laughs> like yeah. what we're doing matters and it shows you know so that's yeah. like the most rewarding thing absolutely it sounded like it far exceeded your expectations coming into it oh yeah so um, to be quite honest with you right before I started I kind of didn't really know what the uh, Chamber of Commerce was like yeah. I knew that it was a business network but I'm like mm -hmm. what's the benefit of a yeah. business network other than just going and just talking to people and handing out business cards, <laughs> you know, yeah. but um, as I got into the role, as I started seeing behind the scenes and, um, you know, in front of the scenes pretty much, mm -hmm. um, it was like, man, this is really powerful. When it's done right, it's very powerful. Yeah. Um, and it can grow businesses exponentially um, when they put in that work. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was actually, I met with a, a member earlier today, and she was speaking about another member that came on um, about a year that started their business and then um, came on with the chamber. And she was like, man, I literally watched how she grew personally and business-wise. Mm -hmm. And now everyone, whenever they think of this industry, 
history of insurance or whatever, they think of that person and yeah. that's the, their go-to. And I'm like, it's amazing how that happened, right? Because yes. she, she came in right at the, the, the time that I came in, you yeah. know? And so um, it's like just to, to see how businesses can really grow and individuals can grow within the chamber is really mm -hmm. awesome to see. Yeah. Well, you're right, 100%. Mm -hmm. it, it is so cool to see that. But you, um, you touched on it a little while ago. Mm -hmm. And if somebody does sign up, become a member. But again, I, I do want to reiterate, if they have an idea, they can't sit down. Mm -hmm. Do not have to be a member no, to sit do down not. and chat with you. Mm -hmm. But for those that are members and like, okay, or if, they, if they're not a member, but they become a member, mm -hmm. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. It's like a gym membership. You have to get, you know, right. you have to get into it and work it because you can't just put forth the membership, sit back, put and your feet up on the desk. everyone's going to come to you. Yeah. yeah. It's like, we desk, still got to like, do some it. work. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> right, right, well, right. But you're going to do some work as well, but at the same time, they have to do work on their end. Right. And then have that, you know, cohesive collaboration and to then, so they can pour into the other member because if, I feel like if somebody, they're missing out if they come into with the whole mentality of me, me, me. Right. They come into it of, hey, how can I help them? the membership? How can I help the community? What mm -hmm. else can I do? Then tenfold will come back to them, Absolutely. like what they can do. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and actually speaking of that member that we were saying that grew leaps and bounds um, mm -hmm. from when she first started, like she hopped on board and the following year um, of, a, of her being with us, she became an ambassador. Um, she's just at all of the events almost. Um, and we know that not everyone can, can come sure. out to all of the events. Yeah. Um, but she's just so involved that because she's so involved, when people are thinking of insurance, you know, she's always at the forefront of their mind because it's like, oh, yeah, I just met with her. Oh, yeah, I just saw her at this event. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I just saw her on that, that poster, you know. Yeah. So it's like just being involved and getting plugged in where you can yeah. um, is so, so key in, in growing your business and getting it um, to the targets that you're trying to reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, 100 percent. And I I love the fact that, so I want to make sure we didn't leave uh, any um, stone unturned. Mm -hmm. So non-members can come in and chat with you. Yep. Existing members, doesn't matter where they're in the business, but mm -hmm. also you're making those introductions to other businesses so they yes. can help grow each other's business. Exactly. Not just theirs. Is there anything else that I feel like uh, that we're missing out for the member service, the member service coordinator? Um, well, I can really like list all of the member benefits and it'll be like drinking <laughs> drinking water yeah. from a fire hose. Um, sure. That's what but, I was thinking yeah. about drinking water. <laughs> it yeah. really is like that. Um, yeah. But, you know, I would just say that um, a lot of our benefits, because we do have so many, but um, not every benefit is going to benefit every member, if that makes sense. 100%. So, yeah, I got that. Yeah. Um, but the great thing about it is that when we do get to meet, when we do get to know what your business is and where you're trying to go, we can tailor those be, uh, be benefits to you. Yeah. So um, like home-based businesses, if um, you don't have an office space or you don't have somewhere where you can meet clients or um, do trainings or mm -hmm. anything like that, or if you need a larger space so that you can do trainings or classes or anything yeah. like that, we have room available in the facility to be able to be used and mm -hmm. it's included in your membership so you don't have to pay to rent it or anything like that as long as it's open then you can reserve it yeah. um and so there's just there's so many different benefits as a member services coordinator yeah. um i mean as a member um for the chamber that if you know someone had a specific need i'm pretty sure we probably have the resource <laughs> to try and figure out how to how to get that um filled yeah, for them <laughs> absolutely i didn't realize well i've realized that but i've forgotten about it i'm glad you said that where mm -hmm. someone if they do have a business in their home mm -hmm. and they can't meet a client or they don't want to meet at a coffee shop or right. They can, but they just want something where it's a little more quiet or mm -hmm. maybe a little more professional setting. You know, like you said, they have the conference room and they yes. can use the facilities here, mm -hmm. you know, as long as it fits within your schedule and their schedule, that's not a problem. Right. Yeah. Um, so we have like the conference room. We have our entrepreneur room, which is more on a smaller scale. If mm -hmm. we had like a one on one or, you know, a three person um, meeting, they can utilize that space. Or we even have members who are just like, you know, I need to get out of my office or I need, yeah. you know, I just need a different location, a neutralized location. And they just want to go ahead and work from that office and they can. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a meeting with a client. If you want to mm -hmm. utilize that space, then you absolutely 
absolutely can. And then um, we also have our training room. Um, and these rooms also have the um, virtual capabilities so that if you wanted to do a virtual option for a meeting or anything like that, then that's also um, a possibility for you to be able to use too. And again, yeah. it's at no additional cost <laughs> as a, yeah. uh, a member. So, you know, these are things that you can utilize to really take advantage of because we want you to take advantage of these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. And it's, the list is long of all the stuff you all it do. It really is. <laughs> and if, there, if somebody wants to learn more that's a member or a non-member, mm -hmm. what's the best way they can get in touch with you or the chamber to find out more? Um, so they can email me. Um, I'm Chantel, S-H-A-W-N-T-E-L at SouthHavenChamber.com. Or um, they can also email our general info um, email, and that is info at southhavenchamber.com. All right, fantastic. Yep. Chantel, thank you for your time. Love thank learning you. about what you're doing in the past, and you have definitely shines bright, so I appreciate that. Thank you, and so thank you all for listening in to another episode of South Haven Beats. Thank you. Please visit www.southhavenbusinessbeat.com for more episodes. We would like to thank the following sponsor. Pure Focus Media. Have an event coming up? Let us capture all the moments that will create memories that will last a lifetime with our professional photographer and videographer. Also announcing our new digital selfie photo booth. Book with us today. This podcast is brought to you by the South Haven Chamber of Commerce. We know relationships create commerce. Want to join the South Haven Chamber? Visit www.southhavenchamber.com. Be sure to share and subscribe Thanks for watching.